A while back, I made a video on prompt engineering. We saw how simply changing the way you frame a prompt can completely shift the response you get from an AI model. And that's true. Prompts are the entry point. But here's the thing. As AI projects move beyond demos, prompt engineering alone isn't enough. What really makes or breaks an AI system in production is context engineering. Think about it this way. An AI might give you a decent answer with a clever prompt. But unless it has the right context, your data, your business rules, your edge cases, the answers fall apart the moment real customers start using it. And that's why so many AI prototypes break in production. This is where context engineering comes in. Instead of relying on clever wording, you design the environment around the AI. What background data it has access to, how it retrieves the information, how it handles edge cases and exceptions, and how it stays accurate when scaled up. In this video, we'll take it a step further and dive into the importance of context engineering and see how impromptu AI leverages it heavily to let you build production-grade applications from scratch with automatic optimizations baked in. Let's get started. Let's start with prompt engineering. Prompt engineering is basically about how you talk to the model. You shape the input so the model gives you the kind of response you want. And there are a few common tricks. You can first set the role of the AI. For example, you are a senior software architect. That one line changes the tone and depth of answers completely. And then you provide a few short examples. You show the model a few solved problems. Then ask it to continue. It's like showing a couple of log parsing examples before asking it to parse a brand new log file. And then you literally tell the model, think step by step. This is also known as chain of thought. And this forces it to reason through the problem instead of responding with a one-line answer. You can also put rules around the output, like saying, answer in JSON format, or keep it under 100 words. All of these are powerful. Prompt engineering helps you improve the quality of single outputs and make the AI feel smarter. Now, a good prompt might get you through a demo, but in production, the model still doesn't know your company's data, your rules, or real-world edge cases. And that's why it starts to break down. Context engineering is about shaping not just the prompt, but the entire environment around the model. Think of it as giving the AI memory, state, access to your data, and even tools to act with. And here are the key parts. AI can remember things short-term or long-term. Short-term means it remembers what you said in the last few turns. Long-term means it stores knowledge about you across sessions. Imagine a support bot that only remembers the ticket you filed today, but also knows about the issue you raised last month. That continuity makes it much more useful. State management is about keeping track of where you are in a workflow. For example, during a customer onboarding process, the AI should know you are on step three of identity verification. Not restart from scratch every time. RAG or retrieval augmented generation is a big one. Instead of relying on what the model learned during training, RAG lets the AI fetch the latest information from your actual data sources before it answers. Imagine a Slack bot in your company. Someone asks, how many vacation stays do I have left this year? Without RAG, the AI might give a generic or an outdated answer, like most companies offer 15 days of PTO. But that's not helpful, and it may be even wrong for your organization. With RAG, the bot first retrieves the latest information from, say, your company's HR system or policy document. Then it generates a precise answer. You have seven vacation days remaining. To request time off, go to the HR portal and submit a leave request. That's context engineering making sure the AI is grounded in your real, evolving company data instead of relying on guesses. And finally, context engineering can let the AI take actions, not just talk. On their own, large language models can't check a real database, call APIs, or execute code. They are just text generators. To actually interact with a real model, you need to connect them to tools. For example, instead of saying, reset your password, the bot could actually trigger the password reset workflow through the company's API. Most AI projects never actually make it to production. In fact, an MIT report found that about 95% of generative AI pilots at companies are failing. Prompt engineering can improve answers, but it doesn't solve problem. 
what makes an AI app production ready is context engineering, defining the data it can access, the compliance rules, and how authentication works. That context becomes the foundation. So when you hit deploy, the app actually works in the real world. And that's why Impromptu, the sponsor of this video, puts context front and center. And they have also given me early access to test drive their platform. Normally in a demo, you usually have a clean data set. Maybe a few PDFs, some neat text examples, a carefully written prompt that works for that small sample, and a model that looks accurate because you have already tuned it for the showcase. But in production, data is messy. Customers upload scanned images, half-filled forms, or documents in unexpected formats. Edge cases might explode. Maybe one client writes not applicable in the address field, or another puts the phone number in a note section. And the prompt that looked perfect in the demo doesn't hold up across thousands of real inputs. So what happens? Accuracy collapses, performance drops, and the AI app that seemed brilliant in the demo becomes a liability in the real world. And this is the demo to production gap. And here is the technical part that makes impromptu different. Because they have a built-in rack. Now a normal AI model relies on what it was trained on. So if you ask it about your company's policies, it might guess. Or worse, hallucinate an answer. Because it doesn't really actually know your data. RAG fixes this by adding a retrieval step before the model responds. The AI first looks into your actual data sources, like PDFs, spreadsheets, or databases you connected, pulls out the most relevant chunks of text, and then uses those contexts when generating the answer. And with impromptu, it's you don't need to code this pipeline yourself. The retrieval layer is built in, automatically optimizing for accuracy. Under the hood, impromptu can test and select the best model for a given ask. You don't have to guess whether GPT-4, Claude, or some specialized model works better. The platform runs optimization cycles and tunes parameters for you. Every production app has outliers. Impromptu continuously monitors outputs, flag anomalies, and lets you adjust workflows. In fact, there is even an optimizer screen where you can see accuracy scores and scatter plots for low versus high confidence cases. Finally, deploying an AI app isn't just about the model. You need secure endpoints, load balancing, monitoring, and compliance. So the moment you hit deploy, your app runs on production-grade infrastructure. And that's why they can claim 98% accuracy out of the box. All right, I'm going to build a financial statement PDF analyzer app. From the very first screen, Impromptu asked me to describe what I want to build. Instead of writing a fancy prompt, I just type in, I want to process PDF financial statements from multiple tech companies extract revenue and expense data, and detect inconsistencies or unusual patterns. Here, Impromptu immediately asks clarifying questions, like what type of documents and what inconsistencies matter most. In my case, I choose financial statements and cross-reference errors between balance sheets and income statements. This is context engineering. I'm not telling the AI how to do it. I'm telling it what's important for my use case. Impromptu captures this context so the AI won't hallucinate random results later. Now, in our app, we have got four main features, upload and extract, dashboard, compare companies, and manage files. I specifically asked for the manage files feature because I noticed something during testing. The app was sometimes uploading duplicates and there was no way to remove them. With manage files, I can view, search, delete, or export PDFs, keeping everything clean. I actually fixed the duplicate issue with the help of Impromptu's chat which guided me through adding this functionality. On top of that, I also integrated a chatbot inside the app. This chatbot is trained only on the PDFs we have uploaded. That means it is directly answering questions grounded in the company's financial reports themselves. Now, for our example, I'm going to upload a few PDFs, earning reports from big tech companies like Oracle, Microsoft, Amazon, and Google. These are publicly available filings. You can grab them straight from each company's investor relations site under SEC filings or from the SAC's Edgar database where all 10Q and 10K reports live. These kind of PDFs are perfect because they are long, messy, and full of tables, footnotes, and disclaimers. Exactly the kind of real-world data that usually breaks AI prototypes. In the Financial Analyzer dashboard, you can now see all the key insights from the PDFs I uploaded. Here, it's showing me totals across companies, five filings processed with a combined $451 billion in revenue and an average revenue of $90 billion. It has also automatically flagged two outliers, 
so I can quickly spot numbers that don't look right. In addition to these clean summaries, mPromptu also provides features to handle edge cases. For example, it can detect when the AI struggles on messy PDFs, highlight low confidence answers, and then let you run manual or automatic optimization cycles to improve accuracy. Note that these numbers may not be correct on the first run. In fact, the app I built showed me incorrect results, and which is why there are also accuracy charts that track performance over time. And once you are satisfied, deployment is literally a one-click process. Impromptu spins up a hosted application with monitoring built-in so you can take your proof of concept and make it usable in production. And if you are curious about trying Impromptu yourself, you'll find the link in the description.